Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about my must-have gaming slash streaming setup necessities. Since the journey of building my PC and streaming and being a content creator, I realized I really need these things and they've made such a difference. These are just my opinions. I will have budget-friendly options as well throughout this video. Now let's just get into the video. One of my must-haves is obviously a keyboard. It's not super important that like you can't build your own gaming setup without a Razer keyboard or a hundred an $80 keyboard. It's not that important. It doesn't make you a better gamer, but it just makes the experience a lot nicer. When I first started creating a PC for myself, there was not anything pink or purple or barely any white, honestly. It was all black or red or blue. My first keyboard, it was a set, came with a keyboard and a mouse. It was $20, super cheap, and it got the job done. You know what I'm saying? It worked. <laughs> this was the first pink keyboard I've ever seen in my life that wasn't the Razer keyboard keyboard which was like how much dollars oh my gosh this one was only like 40 bucks and i'll put that video it's so old pink gaming setup unboxing these are blue caps and this is a mechanical keyboard super clicky super loud and that's exactly what i wanted <laughs> at the time. It is a little bit of like a more mid-sized keyboard. Pretty hefty. I would still use this today, but I noticed as I was streaming or gaming, you could hear you could hear the clicks pretty loudly. This is a fun keyboard to click around for ASMR purposes, but this is really loud when I'm recording a video. Then I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Then I got this keyboard. This is the first time I ever experienced like a soft touch key. These are the pink keys, so I'll leave everything down below. And this is what these sound like. As opposed to... So these are obviously a lot quieter. You didn't hear this as much as the mechanical keys. Dude, this did not exist when I was buying shit for my PC. But this is a more luxurious collector's edition keyboard. You can get the same type of keys on Amazon or with another keyboard. You don't have to spend so much unless you want to. But this was gifted to me for free, so I was happy. You know what I mean? So you can obviously feel the weight is different. The keys are different. Everything's a lot different from like the $40 one I got on Amazon, which I'm not not that one that one was good too but my needs changed now i'm using a little tiny one look at how cute it is <laughs> this one is so adorable this is the hk gaming mechanical keyboard i bought this one myself i wanted something purple the problem before was there was no pink now that all there is is pink and no other colors so i found a purple one and i grabbed it quickly this one i think was 60 dollars, so this was a lot more expensive than the first one i showed you these are brown keys I think so these are a lot more quiet as well this is the quiet route and it's super tiny this one takes a little bit to get used to and a little bit of adjusting but I think it makes my hand more comfortable because I do have smaller hands and I feel like it's just a lot more of a comfortable feel you just start to realize how much of a better experience you get when you have a nicer keyboard by all means you don't need it it's not a necessity none of these things are a necessity <laughs> Playing games on a PC is not a necessity in life, but if you enjoy the hobby and you want to be a little bit more luxurious, you can definitely go for these. Another thing that's really important are mice. Mouse? Mouses? <laughs> a gaming mouse. Once again, like I told you, the first time that I ever got a gaming mouse was a $10 gaming mouse, and I realized the importance for me when it comes to keyboards and gaming mouse is not necessarily like, oh, does it light up? Oh, is it pretty looking? It's main- well, kind of is it pretty looking <laughs> it's mainly like the ergonomic aspect of it so when i got my first gaming mouse it was just very uncomfortable then i moved on to this mouse which i used for a very long time and i realized wow this is so much better for my hand <laughs> i got it because it was pink but also just the way that it sat in my hand was a lot more comfortable i realized how much i actually prefer a wireless mouse so now i have a usb it kind of looks honestly the same as the other one now i have this like Sailor Moon-esque USB mouse. You just plug it in and I think it has a chargeable battery so you'll have to like plug in the USB from time to time. And oh my gosh, the difference between this click, guys. I didn't even know different clicks existed until like a month ago. So this was my original which was also being picked up by the mic while I was streaming. And then I found this one, which is the USB one. 
it's so much more quiet and it has such a nicer finish to it and I can like hold it all nicely it supports my hand so much nicer so yeah I really love this one and I'm not gonna go back because I hate looking at a whole bunch of wires definitely need that in my life next is something that I didn't realize was as important as it actually is when it came to gaming streaming and recording content on my PC and that's just because I had to learn how to build a PC myself with little information back then because it wasn't as much information or easily accessible as it is today and that is a good CPU. Before the CPU that I have in right now which is the Ryzen 7 third generation processor I was trying to stream, I was trying to record, I was trying to add like assets and everything to my stream with a Ryzen 3 and my computer was suffering. It was suffering so so much <laughs> and I realized how important a CPU actually is. This was pretty expensive. This is something that is obviously a luxury item. You can get away with streaming on a shitty CPU but just don't expect anything high quality. So I finally got my stream to where I wanted it to be with the CPU and I feel like my PC can breathe now. It was working so hard before and now it's like anything that I do is so easy like and no stress on my PC at all. If I knew this I would have gotten it a lot sooner. <laughs> I would have just saved instead of buying the cheapy one first. The 7 has been doing me really bright you know I really like it. It's really good. Makes my PC run really smooth and it's really important to me now. <laughs> Next is RAM sticks. When I built my PC I had 8 gigs of RAM so I had two fours. You know you can't really multitask on a PC when you have only eight and then especially I started hitting really hard on my computer because I only had one monitor at the time and it was fine. I was just playing my games. It lasted for a really long time but when I started to actually record content you know adjust and not have this open while I'm doing that it was getting pretty annoying as a content creator who is trying to multitask on my computer and then it got worse when I got a dual screen set up like a dual monitor set up my RAM was suffering so then I upgraded to two eights so I had like a weird number I know people usually do 8 16 32 but I think I have like 24 <laughs> it has not bothered me I don't feel like I need to bump it up at all to get that 32 I think that my RAM works perfectly and that's something else that I noticed such a huge difference it was such a necessity I do not regret it at all and I wish I would have gotten it sooner as well and last but not least if you are a streamer or a gamer what's really important is a good mic I have the blue Yeti this is called a dead cat you can get it on Amazon it's really cheap this is what I use to record my videos right now a um, good mic will save you so much time and effort trying to adjust your mic settings on Streamlabs cancel out a lot of the extra noise that's in the background I had a good mic that was actually a lot cheaper than this one which I'll put down below nobody really wants to hear anybody making videos using their like headset mic and like I know it sucks to hear but a lot of people care more about the audio quality than the actual visual quality and I'll put down some budget ones some budget friendly ones that worked really well Fifine has really good ones I was using a Sudotac for a long time and that was like 30 no it was like 15 bucks because I got it refurbished you can get a really good mic for cheap and I just think that you getting a good mic is very important I don't like hearing any buzzing or hissing in the background and it actually minimizes a lot of effort of me trying to adjust the audio later in like audacity or anything when it's just a good good mic you know what I mean? So those are all the things that I find very important for my setup. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this advice, let me know in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.